Well, there you have it. This was the uh, third Minuet in G major by Johann Sebastian Bach. Sure, he's not the best looking guy in the world, hey, but... Talk about yourself. <laughs> sure, he's not the best looking guy in the world. What? But he is an amazing musician. He has done things with music that no other composer has done. Pretty much every instrument there is, every rendition, partition, musical piece, Bach is the core of it all. I would consider him the father of great music. I'm not a Bach fan. I mean, I got composers that I like best, but Bach is the musician I do respect the most. So let's take a look-see here. Um, we can tell that this song, as the name suggests, Minuet in G, is in G major. And first thing I want to clarify is that this song has repetition lines. On this tutorial, I am not playing the uh, repetition. You can download the uh, piano accompaniment with the repetitions or this short version. It's up to you. The uh, tempo is three fourths, so it's three beats per measure. And already in the beginning, let me grab my violin. There we have it. Already on the uh, first measure, you can see that you start with a D right here. And then it jumps to the uh, G, which uses the same finger, but on the uh, next string. And that's kind of hard to do if you have to jump with a finger from one string to the other. So if it's easier for you, it's maybe a good idea to press the uh, D down and the G at the same time with the same finger. So let's go on. We start with the uh, D. Then we go to the G. That slur, respect the slurs on this song, they're there for a reason, to help you out, not to make it harder. And there, on those two Gs, what we have is a uh, slurred, it's the same note, but since it has that spiccato dot underneath, we don't play one long note as if it were a half note, we play the... Uh, the two notes jumping. The first two measures would sound like this. And then we have the same thing. On the next measure we have a four and a zero. And that means that you can choose between using your fourth finger or using the open string. The fourth finger sounds better. The open string is easier, but it's creature. Then we have a C. Oh, I played that wrong. It's like this. Then we have a C. Now, on measure nine, you can see that there is a... Uh, little, what's it called? Grace note. And that note means that it doesn't really have the uh, value of time. It's That measure is really just the uh, A note on three beats. One, two, three. But that grace note wants us to start with a B and then go to the A. So make it sound like this. So it's more like an embellishment. You don't have to play grace notes if it makes it difficult for you. Practice a song without them. Well, there's only one here, but usually practice them without them and then you add them as you get better on it. Um, and then the uh, second part repeats. The second part of the first half repeats. And now this ending part, the notes are pretty much the same, but it, they, they change a little. Now, on the long version of the piano accompaniment that you can download, 
is the uh, repetition. It goes back to the uh, beginning. On this tutorial, which is a short version, we will just go on to that B. And the next note, there are two difficulties here. One is that the B note is a hard note to hit correctly, to hit in tune. And then we started with a uh, downstroke on the bow. And it wants us to begin with a downstroke again. So the uh, note before, don't hold it for the entire three beats. End it a little sooner so you can start with that B. Okay? So that may be a switch that you want to practice. Uh, we have B, G, A, B, G, A. Then we have a D slurred. It wants us to do the uh, C sharp here. And then we keep with the uh, C sharp on measure 22. And then it ends there. It's fairly simple. Now this part, it just sounds beautiful. I love it. I would recommend you use the fourth finger on there. It makes it much easier. Now on measure 29, 31, there are those three quarter notes and spiccato, I don't really get why. I think they sound better if, if we play them legato, like long. Especially to give the end of the song. Well, and then that second part would repeat again on the long version. We will not play the uh, repetitions. That's it for the... Uh, music sheet and let's go on to the uh, violin practice. Very important. So we'll slow down the metronome to 92 beats per minute and you got three beats to start. Remember it's three fourths. Here we go. Alrighty, let's practice this on the piano. We are still at 92 beats. You got three beats to start. Are you ready? Here we go.
it's time for you to become a Baroque master. Ready to play? Here we go. Three beats to start. I hope you enjoyed the song. It's a beautiful piece. It's very well known. You can play it for everyone. Everyone's going to know it and everyone's going to like it. So good luck with it and have a great day.